We're getting ready to test out the new Starlink Standard Roam. So we put out our 110 watt EcoFlow solar panels. And here's the EcoFlow River 3 Plus. It's getting 61 watts, 60 to 61 watts currently, but that's because the sun is behind a cloud right now. It was getting about 78, but if it's pure sun, it's definitely gonna get some higher wattage. All right, here's the Starlink dish itself. Comes with a pretty long cord. There's the power. There's the router. Let's see, we have not very good sun. The clouds are still out. We're pulling in about 46 watts from the 110 watt panels. We're outputting about 60 to 65 watts. Still at 99%. This power bank, this EcoFlow River 3 will run for quite a while with that amount of wattage. This is about 270-ish watt hours. And I actually have another extra battery that it's a pin plug-in on the bottom. And it's actually coming soon. It might even be here before the end of this video if FedEx gets here. On the back of this, and by the way, I keep these in a Faraday bag just in case. On the back of the Starlink, you don't have to use just Wi-Fi. You can plug in through two Ethernet ports as well. When it comes to solar panels, we do want to upgrade to the 220 watt solar panels. And the River 2 and the River 3 Max Plus, the maximum you can put in for wattage on solar panels is 220. So we definitely want to get the 220 watt panels. The 110 watts aren't bad. With just Starlink, this should be able to run without ever losing battery if you have sun to recharge with solar while you're using Starlink. But if you're going to plug in the laptop, you're going to want the 220 watt panels to run the laptop and Starlink for an extended period of time. All right, I have a laptop out here now hooked in through the Ethernet. This is a ROG Strix. It's a gaming laptop, so it's pumping out about 150 to 160 watts, sometimes higher. Let's see what it is. About 181 right now, including Starlink and the laptop. So I have about 1.8 hours plus whatever I can get from solar. Now, when I get the extra battery, which I haven't seen FedEx yet, but if it comes today, I should have about 858 watt hours with the extra battery that connects on the bottom. It's not, the sun's going down behind the trees, so I'm getting in a lot less wattage. So let's do an internet speed test through Ookla. I think that's how you say it. And let's see if it matches the Starlink test. Actually, it looks pretty similar. I think it's a little better. Hitting about 180 average upload speed. Upload speed looks like it's going to be a little bit less. I think it was, what, 25 through Starlink. Definitely a little less on the upload speed. But the download speed, 178. So this is the setup overall, so you can see it again. There's the case. I got the case on uh, Amazon for about 35 bucks. 110 watt solar panels by EcoFlow with the River 3 Plus power bank. There's the dish from Starlink. The router's pretty sweet. I got my Yeti cooler out here that I got for Christmas. All right, FedEx just dropped off the EB600, I believe it's called, from EcoFlow. This connects through pins you just sit it right on top, connect the pins. Now we have about 858 watt hours through the EcoFlow River 3 Plus. So now it's called the EcoFlow River 3 Plus Max. This should run a lot longer right now. It's showing about 10 hours. Sorry, I got the glare here. Almost 10 and a half hours running Starlink. And I'm firing up the laptop again just to see what kind of power you can see it's at 50%, so when they shipped the battery, it was less than half because we were at about 95% when we were running this before. So I'll have to recharge this. All right, so we're running between 160 and 185 watts, including the laptop. The sun is almost gone. It's behind the trees. We're only getting about 27 watts through the 110-watt panels. So even at 50%, we're at about 2.7 hours to run a powerful gaming laptop, and Starlink. So we should get a minimum of five or six hours at 100%.
plus in full sun, we'll be getting about 80 to 100 watts of solar power until we can upgrade to the 220 watt panel. If you really want to run electronics all day, especially a laptop, like a gaming laptop, you probably want to get like the EcoFlow Delta series at about 2000 watt hours with a 400 watt solar panel. And I believe with those, you can go up to a thousand watts of input and you'll be able to run basically all these types of electronics and more constantly while charging with solar. As you can see, it folds up nicely in my NX3 Faraday bag. with a cheap bag on Amazon. So you can put your entire Starlink system. And now in the Faraday bag, I put everything, the router, the power source, and the Starlink dish, and all of the cordage, ethernet cord, everything. Everything is in here, and I have plenty of extra pockets on the outside.